So today we're taking a look at the new Wizard with the Gun, a multiplayer survival sandbox indie game from Galvanic and Devolver Digital. Set in a beautiful isometric world, you can collect resources, craft spells, and as well as build guns. Brave the harsh, chaotic world with your friends as well. But here's a quick preview of what to expect while playing Wizard with the Gun. The game starts with you creating your character. You can choose from a variety of different wizard classes and a sense. I'll get to that a little later. They all have their quite their own abilities. Once you've created your character, you drop right into the world with nothing but <laughs> your clothes on your back, essentially. When your game starts, you will see that Wizard with the Gun is played in a isometric view. Your first goal is to find resources and, fi and build a shelter, which, I'll, which will be your main hub area to be exact. You can gather resources from the trees, the rocks, and other objects in the world around you. But once you gather enough resources, you can craft a workbench, which will allow you to craft more advanced items, such as more guns and more spells. You will begin to notice that Wizard with the Gun is essentially survival games with a roguelike feature so as you explore the world you encounter a variety of different enemies combat is built like most roguelites kind of like isaac it's more of a point and click targeting system whatever you aim at it instantly locks onto no matter what if it's an enemy or a tree one of the things that make wizard with the gun unique is its crafting system you can craft a wide variety of different items from guns and spells by using research which helps you choose what type of build you want to do you can do fire frost poison and charming then you can be able to combine those different items to create even more unique and powerful items and each class fits the different gun you're going to utilize some uses smgs some uses the pistols and revolvers Another unique feature of Wizard with a Gun is its time limit. So there is a constantly ticking timer at the top of the screen. When the timer reaches zero, the world ends and you lose practically everything because everything is going to come bad out of hell and start to kill you. This creates a sense of urgency and forces you to make tough decisions on whether you should go back to the main hub area or stay and fight it out so you get all of your resources. My final thoughts was just this was just a quick impressions. I will be doing a full review of the game once I get further into the levels. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because if you want more reviews and news on your favorite RPGs, then I'm your guy. Other than that, it's been your host, Chaos TV here at Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace. I don't sleep, that's so weak. Don't plan to rest. I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest. No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best. Chefing, hard times taught lessons. Praying every night to pull up and park benzes. Uh, what's my home is what you call trenches. You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses. Uh, it's all tension, no sun, it rain a plenty. Full time job, still can never make a penny. I ain't rapping for 